What's up, everybody? My name is Tim Russwick, and today we're going to be going over my stats for the last month, but also the last year of YouTube. We're going to be going over YouTube analytics. We're going to be going over views, subscribers, all that great stuff. Uh, as you probably know, I've been posting daily videos every day for 365 days. This is the last 30 days of that, and I kind of I make a video like this every uh, 30 or so days so I can kind of show the progress of the channel. So I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of other talk. Let's just get straight into it. And uh, first up, I just want to point out we have a million and 63,000 views, which is awesome. And we have just over 22,000 subscribers, 22,221. Uh, that's where we're at from a year. It's actually been 15 months on YouTube, but it's a year of daily videos. And here are our analytics. We are down across the board on everything. However, uh, the weird thing about this is this video decided to take off. Uh, and this was one of the videos, this was my attempt. Uh, if you've been watching previous videos, you know that this was my highest performing video uh, before, but I remade this video in a higher quality with additional tips and stuff. And it just took off. It is now 15% of the total watch time. So that's insane to me. So we are down overall, but this video just like took off and our subscribers are actually up. So while our views are down, our watch time is down, revenue's down, view duration is down, likes are down, everything's down, subscribers are actually up. Uh, and that mainly has to do with this video right here. Uh, and if we actually look at this, actually let's go last 90 days. Well, let's compare this to the last 28 days first. So this is the last 28 days compared. You see the baseline, was usually higher um, in the previous period. We, we hit a million minutes watched. And to be honest, this all these spikes are live streams because we did Ludum Dare and we did Jim Jam. So these stats are kind of flawed because yes, we hit a million minutes, but uh, that's with all of these live streams. The live streams are always a huge spike to watch time. Same thing with the revenue. These spikes are the live streams. So that's why the revenue's down. And then views, same thing as well. You can see the spikes. You can see the spike in likes. Um, and that's that. So let me compare the last 90 days because here's where you really see growth. It's it's hard to see it in, in, in 30 days, but you can see it in 90 days. We're doing way better. Uh, about 150% up from uh, previous period. Views are up as well. Uh, and th this is really interesting too. Like in the last 90 days, you see we have 461,000 views. And I just told you my total views is just over a million. So that means in the last 90 days, we've done more than half of the views on our entire channel, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, we made about 1,400 in the last 90 days compared to 699 in the, la in the 90 days before that which is a very significant improvement, especially in revenue. And like I said, a lot of that is from the live stream spikes. Uh, so there's no specific way to tell like individual transactions, but it's just there. Uh, and then likes are up, dislikes are up for sure. <laughs> Comments are up, shares are up, uh, videos and playlists are up, subscribers are up. So that's sweet. I'm always down about that. If we go to traffic sources, we're going to look at, once again, YouTube continues to send me traffic. They continue to send me a ton of traffic. Matter of fact, what is this? 39 plus 35. That's 60, 74, 83% of my traffic is from YouTube sending it to me, which is insane. And then this is people searching for it, 4.4%, and direct or unknown, which is people sharing it or linking to it. Um, which I don't know if I like this or I hate this. Like on one side, I'm like, yes, YouTube promote the shit out of my videos. And the other side, I'm like, I am extremely reliant on, on this metric, which is one of the reasons why um, in my update video yesterday, I decided to actually test out things because I want to make more searchable videos and I want to make more shareable videos because 
I do not like my reliance on the algorithm right now. While it's good and it's been positive, uh, at any point in time, YouTube could just change things and then channel's over with. So I don't want that to happen. Um, subscribers, if we look at this, you can see we went up recently, and this is all due to that nine game design tips video. Um, all of these subscribers, this big spike here, uh, was from the watch page. But if we click on the watch page, we can see the content where the majority of subscribers, while in the last 90 days, they came from five mistakes in the last 30 days, they came from the nine game design mistakes. And actually I'll show you that if we, uh, if we go there by a significant amount, a thousand, almost 1200 versus 305. So this video, like I said, has just decided to take off, which is cool. I don't I'll complain about that, but uh, you know what it is. So likes and dislikes. So I've actually posted some videos that people didn't like recently, uh, which is fun. It's, it's always fun. So this is the like thing. And then we have the dislikes and you can see when I, when I, when I post stuff, people don't like it's, it's always interesting. Um, but like I said, any kind of like or dislike is, is engagement in YouTube's eyes. So YouTube really doesn't, really doesn't see it as a, as a bad thing. And then if we want to go to audience retention. This is one of the things that I want to improve a lot. Uh, this is the average view duration of my videos. The average percent viewed is like 19%. And while if we compare it, I believe it's up slightly or it's, it's the same. But the average view duration, so my videos have been getting shorter. That's why the average view duration is smaller, even though the percentage wise, they stay the same. Um, I would, obviously this can't be super high for every video, but I would love to see a percentage viewed um, above 80, 70, 80% for some of my videos. And that's what I'm gonna be aiming to for my new content in the future some really engaging, visually appealing content. Uh, and then where else should we go? I think that's pretty much it. I, I started adding end screens. I wasn't doing that for a while. And uh, there's not much there, but I, I mean, I guess 5,000 views isn't, isn't something to just laugh at. I, I it's, it's worthwhile to add the end screens because um, these are the clicks actually. So it's not 5,000 views, 5,000 views turns into 236 clicks, which is kind of, to me, that's, that's not a whole lot of views. Uh, so I'm not really sure that they're worth it, but um, it doesn't take that long to do. So I just go ahead and do it anyway. But that's all I got for you. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if there's any things in here that you wanna see, that I'm not sharing, uh, just let me know. If there's any uh, questions I can answer for you, let me know that as well. But once again, my name is Tim Oswick, and I'll see you again soon.